Hey, what is up? This is Alphabet Lane. This is supposed to be a creepy game. It's the YouTuber demo. I'm a YouTuber. Welcome to the Annoying Orange Gaming Channel, the greatest gaming channel on YouTube run by a bunch of fruits. And yours truly, the strongest fruit alive. Grapefruit is about to play this creepy game. Oh, man. I wish I had hands like that guy. Uh, I also wish I had a cool uh, tablet like that guy. But you know what? I have to suffer. I have to suffer and play this game on whatever they give me. Okay, wait. Here we go. Alright, I'll find your keys. Uh, are they in here? Did you leave them on the bed? Did you put your wallet in the bureau at night? Why is it all of a sudden creepy? Oh, man. These scary games, you know what? They, they are fun, but they also give me nightmares for the rest of my life, which is something I have to deal with. Whoa, look how cool I walk. I got moves. Oh, you know what? I might be into this game now because I am a smooth criminal. <laughs> Let's go steal stuff! That would be amazing. Yeah, all right. So, what what was that? What the heck is that thing? That was a thing. It looked like Cookie Monster was eating someone's brain. Yeah, don't stick around for that, though. That's not interesting. Wait a sec. It was, but I'm just terrified. So, moving along down to the creepy basement. What is this, a warehouse? Where did this guy live? Loading. This may take a while. It could take... Whoa, that Today, took so long. Whoa, what's going on? Alabama Cutter, the infamous serial killer who was shot down at the Alphabet Lane studio. The Alabama Cutter, the infamous killer that was shot down at the Alphabet Lane studio. Oh boy. That is a very strange way to drive. It looks like he was on skis. Okay, so we're going to the studio. Yeah, maybe they're inside. We should totally go in there. It's Cookie Monster. This is definitely a parody of Sesame Street, only uh, it's terrifying monsters that will eat your face uh, for breakfast, lunch, and a snack before dinner. That's what they'll do. That's what these monsters do, kids. All right? Sesame Street, it's a bunch of terror-inducing monsters. They might look furry. What is that? I saw somebody up there. Did you see that? I'm not scared, though. I'm going to fight them. With all of my might, if I fight them, probably, uh, probably pee my rind. You know, I will. Wait, but you know what? The lighting is good. <laughs> also, if this is a studio, why does it look like a jail? Yeah, that's right. Open up the jail cell. These monsters who have been entertaining kids for years, they've been jailed and now they're rebelling. Yeah, also, uh, someone didn't pay the electric bill. Someone didn't do it. Where's the administrative assistant around here? Hello? Cheryl? Cheryl? Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Hey, he didn't eat my face. This isn't exactly like Five Nights at Freddy's. All they do is come by and go, ah! And then they run away. So, oh, you know what? While we're here, why don't we fix the plumbing? What the? Okay. Echoey kid voices. Creepy. Is the floor moving? Oh, it's just water. Flood warning! Oh, man, they're causing mischief. I can't read that. It's way too weird. Okay, there we go. Flood stop. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, man. Is there a water monster in here? Water monsters terrify me more than regular monsters. I don't know why. It might be a thing of the subconscious. Oh, whoa, look at it. It's a chef. Oh, no. It's even creepier that he didn't want to eat my face. Is he just waiting? Is he going to make a recipe for my brains? He's like, I'm a chef. I'm a creepy kid's show chef. But you know what? Before I carve up your brain grapefruit, I'm going to go back to the kitchen and see what ingredients I have to make a tasty, wasty recipe. Meanwhile, can you do me a favor and fix the plumbing down here? Thanks. Thanks for being a doll. That's what the chef said. At least that's what I imagined he said. He thought that all very quickly uh, in his brain. So, hey. Whoa, crap. That, that's not a switch. It's, okay, it is a switch. What are you looking at? Does he need my help? Hey, maybe he's not trying to... Maybe he's not trying to kill me after all. Are, are we pals, Chef Creepy? Ah! Nope, we're not pals! We definitely aren't pals. He just totally hit me in the head and chopped my face off. But I think I'm back. Whew. 
Creepy man, creepy man. So one of the things I think is strange is they take all this time to uh, light these areas in a creepy manner, yet they won't put in regular lights that would help you do the service job uh, here. Okay, he keeps stabbing me. Don't come by me. It's my job, he said, to look at this switch. Uh, I won't pull the switch or fix anything, but if you try to help me, I will take this meat cleaver and stab you in the head grapefruit. And I'm like, dude, dude, have you seen me walk? Because my walk is pretty... Okay. Is is he coming? Now he's coming after me. Hi. Okay. Stop stabbing me, dude. You're giving me goosebumps. What? Well, I'm glad I have infinite lives. Okay, so we're turning this switch on. And that... What does that do? It activates... It activates the chef to come try to stab me again. Hey, Chef Stabby. That's his new name. Chef Stabby. Chef stabs a lot. He's kind of like... Okay, water drain switch number two. Why is he guarding? Does he want this place to be flooded? It's just irresponsible. He's creepy, man. Creep, creep, creepy. Chef Stabby, Chef Stabby, gonna stab you in the head. Then he's gonna make you food. I mean, not make you food to eat. He's gonna make you the food. That's what he does. This is what Chef Stabby's all about. Flood warning! Flood warning! Flood warning! Okay. Whew. Okay, made it to the next level or the next part of the level. Let's see where this leads. Oh, it's the vent maintenance. Okay, well, you know, everything needs work here. Don't call a qualified professional. Just go in the middle of the night by yourself and see what happens. Also, if you see ghost-like uh, creatures that are t formerly on kids shows, you know what? Don't call the cops with that either. Oh, crap! Oh, man. What was that? Oh. I like that I don't have to start all over, but someone just came out of the vent and really just, they vented on me. <laughs> you see what I did there? Yeah, the player. Oh, crap. Hey, ghost clown thing that keeps making me crap my pants. Uh, can you please not destroy me? That would be wonderful. Would like to keep going with the level. All right, just run. Seriously, you know what? Why not just go to a Starbucks? Maybe work on your screenplay. You've got things to say, Grapefruit. Okay, this guy's coming out of every freaking vent. He's like, I'm in all the vents. You can't come at my face because I'm Venti Clown. Yeah, it's Venti Clown. I'm going to kill you every single time. So why don't you just keep going for it, Grapefruit. Fix the vents. But if you try to fix the vents, I'll eat your face. These guys, these these children's characters have gone awry. Maybe maybe they're not SAG. Maybe they're not the, in the Screen Actors Guild. Maybe they... Ooh, what did I just grab? I don't even realize what I just grabbed. Uh, it was important. And it's going to totally win the game. But you know what? These guys, they're disgruntled. That's all. They're not just, you know, possessed ah, by demons. Uh, yeah, it does burn. Maybe get away from the steam. Oh, man. But, you know, maybe if we give them, you know, some negotiating time, a new contract, maybe these haunted monsters and beloved kids. That was creepy. I'm not even going to pretend that. Uh, didn't creep me out. In fact, I'm actually I'm actually going to pretend that uh, it didn't happen. Okay, uh, they went. Okay, that's information that I needed. Okay, it's going to tell me what to do, and um, perhaps I won't. You know, don't look at the vents. What you one thing you definitely want to do in this level is look at the vents. Venti monster, venti clown. You know, at Starbucks, by the way, um, a venti is a tall. I think, and. Uh, that means a large coffee. Just a little bit of information for the next time you go. Don't look at those. Or those. Two, maybe. You already looked at one. Okay. Hey, look at that. I took the screwdriver and I opened it. And now maybe that guy won't jump out and be like, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to negotiate your SAG contract. And, uh, you know, just get you a little bit more money so we can get the show back on the air and entertain the kids. You know, like the Annoying Orange show does. That's what we do. You know, it makes me think that these guys just aren't professional. They're not taking their job seriously. I mean, I think we take our gaming channel more seriously than they take their main show, which is off the air now because somebody got murdered, apparently. And obviously, everyone who was on the show went crazy, and now it's nighttime. I mean, you don't see us running around the kitchen in the middle of the night wielding the knife. We're actually avoiding the knife. Uh-oh, what is this? Oh, it looks like I started the nuclear reactor. So, well, I said one thing I gotta tell you I wish we had a nuclear reactor in the kitchen because I might start it at night <laughs> I'm a hypocrite all right so this is about to blow you know what this was an awesome video hope you guys like alphabet lane if you want me to play more let me know in the comments below and you know what 
We'll see you next time, kids. Oh, yeah.